this week's edition of Molly's Tip of the Week. It is Monday, as you can clearly tell from the fact that I can't form sentences right away. And last week we finished up my kind of little five week series on a Twitter back to basics, so how to set up a Twitter account, all that stuff. So over the next couple weeks, I'm just going to be kind of covering different social networks. And today I'm going to introduce you guys to LinkedIn. So it is no secret that I have not always been the biggest fan of LinkedIn. And to be honest, I'm still not the biggest fan of LinkedIn. However, that is my personal opinion. That doesn't mean that I don't think it's a valuable social network. I personally just don't use it a lot because that is the people that I'm trying to connect with aren't on LinkedIn. However, LinkedIn is great for networking, uh, inter you know, getting connected with people that you've worked with in the past, recommendations, uh, testimonials, and discussions. So uh, if, for those of you that don't know what LinkedIn is, LinkedIn is a social network that is based solely for professional use. So this is your online resume in a social network. So LinkedIn allows you to upload a picture, uh, upload all of your work history, where you've worked, how long you've worked, allows you to connect with uh, colleagues from previous positions or current positions or people that you've met in the past. It allows people to recommend you for a certain position. So if you've worked somewhere and, and you've worked with somebody and they have a positive impression of you in the workplace, they can write you a recommendation. If you're a company, you can get recommendations or testimonials, maybe from clients or previous customers. Um, LinkedIn is really an opportunity for you to take sort of those networking skills from real life and apply them to a social network. Uh, so for those of you that don't have a LinkedIn account, uh, to set up a LinkedIn account, you're just going to go to www.linkedin.com. So that's L-I-N-K-E-D in.com linked in and just sign up for an account so you're going to click the sign up button and go through the step-by-step -step process it's very very basic just filling in your name your email address and that kind of thing once you get in there uh, it's recommended that you start to fill out your profile now LinkedIn in the last I guess six months or so maybe longer has done a really great job of kind of taking you step-by-step through what needs to be filled out to really com fully complete your profile. Um, you'll complete a step and you'll hit kind of next along the way and it'll even prompt you if you have if there's an area of your profile that's not filled out. So it'll allow you to upload a photo, um, a headshot. This is where you're going to want to use a professional headshot. You're probably not going to want to use a wedding photo or a photo of you and your friends. You want to use a professional headshot. And if you don't have a professional headshot, uh, this is the opportunity to, to find a photo of you in a professional setting that's just of you. Um, you don't want to have anybody else in your LinkedIn photo because people want to know exactly who they're connecting with. Also, start to fill in your employment history. So, but again, this is your online resume. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting in that, I don't know, that time you were a food runner at a local pub or something like that. Now, unless you are in the restaurant industry, then maybe that is a good plan. So, but you wanna, you wanna cater your employment history to the types of positions that you're looking for or the types of people you're looking to connect for. Now, for example, I'm not looking for a job, but I have a LinkedIn profile that just shows my expertise. And that's just more, you know, again, I, I'm not as active on LinkedIn as I could be. Um, but that's just, my, again, my personal preference. Um, for if you're a company and you're setting up your LinkedIn page, uh, this is the opportunity to really tell everybody what your company is about. Have a, a logo or a photo of the this, this staff um, that you guys have. It's also an opportunity for you to maybe share experiences or give people a good overview of what working with your company is going to be like, that kind of thing. So. Setting up your LinkedIn account, again, is very, very simple, very, very basic, um, just by going to the LinkedIn.com homepage and following the step-by-step -step process. So once you get all that set up, your, your headshot, your employment history, there's a little place for a bio, 
Um, next week we'll start, we'll talk about getting connections. But this week we just want to focus on setting up our page. So I want you guys this week, if you don't already have a page, to get it set up. If you do have a page, log in and see if you, if there are any areas of your page that might need to be updated or maybe you want to kind of tweak, you know, make some tweaks. Um, post any questions um, in the comments below and I will do my best to answer it in next week's video. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.